Welcome to Dr. Bala's Chemistry. I am Dr. Bala. Today we are going to discuss about the very important topic that is uh, conversion. So here are organic conversions. From that I would like to convert the bromobenzene to 1-phenyl ethanol. Okay, bromobenzene to 1-phenyl ethanol. So I would like to, whenever the conversion is given to you, whenever the conversion is given to you, you just do one thing. What are all the reactants they are given and what is the product they asked. So you have to write both the things, then only you will get an idea. So here, I will be writing a bromobenzene. What is the structure of bromobenzene? This is the structure of bromobenzene, am I right? This is bromine, so this is benzene, this is bromine. Bromobenzene. And from there, I would like to get one phenyl ethanol. So if you don't know uh, how to write the name of the compound, you just look at this. So here, do you know the formula for ethanol? Yes, we know the formula for ethanol. That is CH3, CH2, OH is there. This is an ethanol. But what they are asking, they are asking is one phenyl ethanol. So that, the instead of that one hydrogen, one phenyl group is there. Okay? Are you able to understand student? This is one phenyl ethanol. That is what I need to convert from bromobenzene to one phenyl ethanol. So here you look at, the thing is, what all the things are saying? So here benzene ring is there, here also benzene ring is there. But here bromine is there, instead of that I need to add two carbon atom containing alcohols. Okay. So what we have to do? So I have to add two number of carbon containing alcohols I have to convert. Okay. Now let us discuss. Here it is a bromine. Bromobenzene is there. So I will be writing this C6H5Br. Okay. If it is react with the magnesium metal in presence of an ether. So what I will be giving a product? This is a famous product that is, yeah, that's fine. That's a great not reagent. That is what uh, C6, H5, Mg, Br I'm getting. Once I got C6, H5, Mg, Br, so I can able to synthesize this compound very easily. Okay, now I'll be having C6, H5, Mg, Br, but I need to add two number of carbon containing alcohols. Okay, so here uh, as we know that this is a, this Grignard reagent is a good uh, reducing agent. Okay, so if converts aldehydes and ketones into respective alcohols. Okay, if I am taking the formaldehyde, one carbon containing aldehyde that will be converted into one degree alcohol. If suppose if I am taking acetaldehyde, two carbon containing alcohol, that time it will be giving two degree alcohol. Here I will be in need of two degree alcohols. So let's take aldehyde, that is CH3, C double band O, H is there. Are you able to understand? So here, as you know that, CH is catch 5, it is minus charge is there, because metal having 2 plus, here it is negative charge is there. This is a better leaving group, it wants to leave on its own, so that's what it doesn't involve in the reaction. Now, this C C H H5 minus, this will go and attack this carbon. Why this attacking this carbon? Because... This carbon is attached with a highly electronegative atoms, okay, like oxygen. So it has slight negative, it attains slight positive. That's what it has negative charge, it attains a positively curve. Okay. Now what happened? So I would like to write the product. So here I'm writing this one. That is a C H3 C. If it attacks, it goes like this. So here O minus is there, and one more hydrogen is here. The incoming group is C6H5. So C6H5, which is also going to attach here. Okay. This is what I will be getting a product. And this MgBr is there. That MgBr, which is going to react. MgBr. Okay. This is what I will be getting a adduct. So I will be getting an adduct. If whenever the Grignard reagent product will form an adduct, that time I have to hydrolyze that egg, I will be getting a product. So here I would like to hydrolyze, that is a CH3, C, here it is O, here it is Mg, Br, here it is H, here it is C6, H5 is there. Okay, that is what I will be written the adduct. So if I would like to hydrolyze this H3O+, plus, what will happen? So here this bond is getting break like this, here I will be getting H, here it is getting OH. The water is getting converted into H plus and OH minus here. So, already if this bond is break, that time I will form 
minus charge this plus charge okay now i will be getting a product ch3 ch here it is oh okay and one more thing i'll be getting c6 h5 that is what my ultimate product okay that is a one phenyl first carbon phenyl ethanol one phenyl ethanol i'll be getting are you able to understand along with that i'll be getting my grignard reagent product that is called uh, what is that i'd like to write the product like here one of the byproduct is mg here it is oh here it is br that is what i'll be getting grignard reagent product i think so you understand very well about this concept thank you so much for watching please go forward to others to get benefit and don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to put a like to this video thank you so much for watching thank you and let's welcome to the tip of the day session so here are tips of the day here whenever the grignard reagent is there if it is react with the uh, aldehydes or ketones what else may be just by looking out just by doing this thing just by doing this trick we can able to write the product okay so here is nothing but uh, grignard reagent which has two place which has minus that's what this bond is getting break this bond has got negative charge this negative charge will goes in that tag by the way it goes like this you just listen it so just by the way of seeing the product so i'll be writing the product like this here it is ch3 and c is there o minus is there and h is there here benzene ring is getting attached okay just add h plus that's it you'll be getting a product okay just by the looking of those things you can able to write the product that is what it's a tip of the day i think so it will be very useful to you thank you thank you for learning share and like this video